So why do buildings crack? This question has been asked so many times and the answers are as many as the answers to the question. Why do people fall sick? <coughs> I'll do my best to answer a few. I also include my fellow comrades in the construction industry to help in the comments as well. Here goes. Cracks are of different types. Basically, the bigger the cracks, the more worried you should be. Ain't nobody got time for that. Number one, bad plaster mix. Cracks can be caused by using a bad plaster mix that is too sticky, so to speak. When they dry up, they shrink and cause cracks on the wall, which are usually hairline cracks. And they usually look like what you see when mud dries. In this type of case, you have no risk of collapse. Number two, differential settlement. This happens when one part of your foundation sinks more than another part, causing one side of the building to begin to separate from the rest of the building. And that gap becomes visible cracks in the wall. This usually starts small and begins to extend over time and usually very visible in the walls. In this type of case, you have to worry. Shut up! I'm so fucking scared right now, you shut up! 